Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to focus on whether we have a lattice or a molecule and what the difference is between the two. It's also going to have a look at the size of molecules. Okay, you should be able to remember then that our lattices are ionic and therefore molecules are going to be covalent. So we have that strong electrostatic force between the molecules which is what forms the lattice structure and then we have strong covalent bonds which forms our molecules and is made up of shared pairs of electrons. So what is a molecule? What you need to be able to do is look at the structure and the elements contained within a compound or a substance and tell me whether it's a molecule or a lattice. So for example, hydrogen, which is made up of two nonmetals only, that is a molecule. Glucose, which has got lots of different nonmetals, it's a molecule. However, when you get something like NaCl, where we've got a metal and a non-metal, it's no longer a molecule, it becomes an ionic lattice. So if we were looking for the definition of a molecule then, we are looking at two or more non-metals that are bonded together. Some of the key examples that you do need to know then, we've got H2, so that's two hydrogen atoms. We've got hydrochloric acid, which is HCl two different non-metals and then we have carbon now carbon is one atom on its own so we actually say this is not a molecule going back to our definition we need to have two or more metal atoms bonded together okay let's have a look at a quick question for this one then so this one says look at the three substances below which are co2 c and h2 you've been given information showing that co2 is a molecule and a compound C is an atom and H2 is a molecule. The question is explain why some are molecules, some are compounds and some are atoms, which is worth four marks. So what I would do is I would look at it and break it down into the three, molecule, atom and compound, and say why carbon dioxide and hydrogen are molecules, carbon dioxide is a compound and carbon is an atom. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. So if we start off with the compound then, so we've only got carbon dioxide. What are they made up of? It's two elements that are different. So you've got carbon and oxygen, so it's not the same elements. And then the second mark is they are bonded together. The molecule, so we've got carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The only similarity there is you've got your covalent bonding. So we're looking at two non-metals bonded together. And then your second marking point is for saying they can be the same element. For example, hydrogen. And then finally, your atom is the smallest part of an element on its own. Okay, hopefully that's helped you with the molecule and lattice section. So let's have a look at the review question, which is look at the five substances below SO2, H2, FeCl3, NaCl, and H2SO4. Which will be in the form of molecules and which will be in the form of ionic lattices? So separate them out into two and then explain why you've come to that conclusion. And that ends this video.